Moments ago, the FBI released new videos of the suspect who left pipe bombs outside both the Republican National Committee and Democratic National Committee headquarters the night before the Capitol insurrection. Officials believe the pipe bombs may have been intentionally placed there, away from the Capitol, in order to divert police attention as the insurrectionists stormed the Capitol on January 6. A law enforcement official tells CNN that the pipe bombs had been filled with an explosive powder and rigged with egg timers. They were detonated by robots. CNN's Evan Perez joins me now live. Evan, what other new details are your sources in the FBI telling you about the suspect? Well, Jake, these are new images and a new uh, video showing the movements of the, the, the person who is believed, uh, the FBI believes, place these two devices outside the RNC uh, and the, uh, the DNC. It, it's remarkable that uh, two months after the insurrection, after the attack on the Gios Capitol, they still have very little to go on. But that doesn't mean that, there are any, that, they're, that, they're, that they don't have a lot of clues from these videos. For instance, uh, the FBI says that the, the suspect is seen wearing a knife Nike Air Max Speed Turf shoes, uh, yellow and black and gray. Uh, you can see in the images he's wearing, the, he or she is wearing a hooded uh, sweatshirt as well as a mask. Um, one of the things that uh, is interesting, Jake, is that the FBI says that the devices are believed to have been placed between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. the night before. As you pointed out, uh, prosecutors at the FBI have said that they believe perhaps that these bombs were placed as a way, as a diversionary tactic, as a way to draw uh, the law enforcement away from the U.S. Capitol as the attack began on January 6th. But the question is, uh, you know, the, the, the timer that's used here is, is described as the kitchen timer. That suggests that perhaps these devices should have gone off the night before. And if that had been the case, uh, everything would have changed about January 6th. So again, a lot of questions remain about exactly uh, the relationship between the, the placement of this device on the night before the January 6th insurrection and the events that happened in the attack on the U.S. Capitol, whether the persons uh, are, are connected or whether there was, this was another sp uh, another group that had nothing to do with those uh, with those uh, with the attacks uh, that was trying to do something else. Again, a lot of questions that remain from the FBI. The FBI says that they have a hundred thousand dollar reward for information leading to the arrest of a suspect. In well, and, and and that's what I want to ask you about, Evan, because the release of this new video plus the hundred thousand dollar reward would suggest possibly that the FBI is really necessar not ne necessarily any closer to figuring out who this is than they were two months ago. Yeah, no, look, I think that, that does tell you that they're kind of at a dead end. Uh, again, they've spent a lot of time looking at these devices. They have them at uh, the FBI lab in Quantico. They've analyzed the makeup of them. The question is, did this person know what they're doing, Jake? It looks uh, from what the FBI is describing, this was homemade uh, black powder that was used. Uh, why didn't it work? Uh, again, using, uh, using a, a, a kitchen timer tells us that uh, this wasn't some kind of sophisticated, sophisticated device that was uh, set to go off on the day of the attack. Again, if it was placed between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m., the night before, it suggests that this should have gone off on the night before the attack. And, it, and you can think, if this had gone off on the night before, perhaps the, 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 the security picture at the Capitol would have been a far different than what we saw.